uh, in His Holiness's wisdom, I always like in hindsight, I always said, ask myself, why did He choose me? You know, because I didn't have a PhD, I, uh, and I'm truly not very versed in the Dharma knowledge, or and I was young, and, and they were like Kazi, Sonam you Tobge, know, and so there were many learned Sikkimis and Bhutanis and Tibetans at that time that you could have chosen to, to assist him. Um, and I think one, one of the reasons was that I, I'm perceptive. I, mean, I think my role was to be exactly more that his, you know, I became like his private secretary, his English secretary, but like I said to you earlier, after he visited the West, that, that job, that aspect of his work became so incredibly, it just, you know, exploded. So in the course of that, I met prime ministers and, you know, presidents and famous uh, movie uh, stars. Uh, I mean, I met, I interpreted for Moraji Desai, Mrs. Gandhi, uh, you know, his, his her, her son who died, uh, Raj, not Rajiv, uh, I don't remember his name. Anyway, his older brother who, you know, who passed away. All then our all our work with the 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 Sikkimese, uh, you know, because Sikkim was being slowly absorbed while we were traveling, and by seventy five that annexed Sikkim. So from from seventy five until the time I left nineteen eighty seventy nine, they offered the land in New Delhi um, to his holiness. So we had I had constant I had to work with the governor, you know. Uh, chief minister, so because of his holiness's blessings, I mean, I had direct, I could call him directly in the office every time, he, you know, sometimes very, very small problems and uh, sometimes it's very important. Um, and um, then when we were traveling, uh, we met the Pope, uh, Archbishop of Canterbury, many religious leaders, uh, we went to 16 countries in Europe, all the leaders, most of them many interfaith, you know, ceremonies. Um, but my job was mainly for very confidential, um, you know, uh, conversations that he would have with his uh, chief disciples, like the Oberoi's and um, the prime ministers, everybody that uh, he, you know, it was my job to interpret for him. His holiness may have been the first Major Tibetan Lama to have had a, a meeting with the Pope. Was that in the seventy-four tour or seventy-four? I think it was seventy-four tour, first tour. Yeah, we were in the Philippines and we were the guests of uh, Maria D. Uh, and interestingly enough, ironically, you know, we never seemed to part ourselves from our first cousins, that's the Chinese, the Han Chinese. <laughs> you know, the Tibetan history is so interlocked with, with China and Tibet and, and, and the patronage kind of a uh, link that Tibetans have had in the past seem to continue, you know. But they're all ethnic Chinese, uh, extremely successful in business, uh, but utterly drawn to the Dharma. I mean, these people have I would say, say are true uh, believers, and because they have become successful in everything they have, you know, in the worldly sense, but they've been empty still, and they want to find some meaning and inner peace. And they've been drawn, and they have read and heard about the Vajrayana teachings. So we were uh, the, the they were our uh, hosts there, and in the course of our stay in the Philippines, um, they arranged meetings with. Uh, uh, Amel de Marcos and uh, uh, then the president, uh, uh, Mr. Marcos, and then we had the ministers, we had different like interfaith exchanges. Uh, so they were very generous. I mean, they met, uh, met his holiness. We had a couple of receptions that I remember. Uh, cardinal Sin, who was like the main cardinal of the, you know, because the Philippines is mainly Catholic. And later, of course, Cardinal Sin became a principal power broker. And we had a few meetings with him. They want to understand more about Buddhism and this whole of the had like exchanges. Uh, and uh, Mr. Marcos came one day uh, to to meet his holiness and uh, he was sort of really kind of came in 
a little late and he was apologetic and he said, you know what, um, the Chinese government was trying to stop me to meet your holiness, but, you know, I didn't care, you know, I'm here, so I'm <laughs> really happy to meet you. Uh, but uh, their, their meeting was more, I mean, they, I think it's like they heard about the Karmap, that he's from Tibet and he has powers. He has powers to heal, powers to bless. So like, like a lot of the followers of people who are interested in Vajrayana Buddhism, you know, in that part of the world, came to His Holiness and, you know, wanted to get the blessings to enhance their health and vanquish their enemies and, you know, um, becoming more successful and having some inner peace and basically we need to get the blessings. So yeah, it's one of the main really jobs was for me to uh, uh, in that way I was very blessed. His Holiness trusted me, and uh, you know I had full confidence in me to interpret and to retain you know his meetings with these uh, important people. <laughs>